Hello everyone and welcome back to the World War II Solitaire board game channel and episode 7 of the Hunters with the Cifrii expansion and the Type UA submarine. Okay, so last episode that was just nuts. We sunk two capital ships. We went up to 189,100 tonnage sunk. We have the Knight's Cross, we have the Knight's Cross with the Oak Leaves and we have the Knight's Cross with the Oak Leaves and the Sword. We are rank 3, which is Captain. So the cool thing here with the Knight's Cross and the Oak Leaves, that is gonna make it easier for us to actually hit. We will have a minus 1 when we roll on the U-Boat Torpedo and Deck Gun Fire Chart. A minus 1 for hitting. That is an extremely powerful bonus. And the Knight's Cross with the Oak Leaves and the Sword that is even more powerful because that is give, gonna give us a plus one to escort detection. So that is really uh, just nuts. Our veteran crew has a minus one for flak versus aircraft that is also quite good. We have one Hals und Beinbruch. A token for from random events, meaning we can re-roll any roll that we make that is basically an extra life. Our second watch officer is an expert. Uh, I don't care much for the second watch officer and the first watch officer. Uh, don't really care for their promotion, but I would like to get our crew to become veteran, uh, sorry elite. I would like to get the last knight's cross that makes you follow convoys automatically. I would like to get mo one more Hals und Beinbrücken. And finally, I would like to have my doctor and engineer at expert. And just to make it clear, just one of these things usually make me happy if I play. I've never had all of them. I never had a Knight's Cross with the Oak Leaves and the Sword, I believe. Uh, so basically, I mean, we're still, we're already very, very good. But if you could get those things, uh, which is not going to be impossible with the Type UA because it's so powerful, I mean, that would be the most legendary uh, campaign ever. We are going to go ahead and roll a D6 to see if we get to choose our uh, next assignment. We are now in March 1942. So this is going to be a little bit problematic now because in... in um, in 42, it's going to be much uh, more dangerous for us rolling on the transit, on escort detection, on the Bay of Biscay. But we'll see what happens. On our roll of 1 to 2, we get to choose ourselves. And roll of 5s, we do not get to choose. We go ahead and look at our U Boat Patrol assignment chart. And we'll uh, look at a chart 1942, January to June, since we're in March. And roll seven, so that is going to be North America. That is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. North America. So we start off by moving our submarine here to North America, the Caribbean, and our first box is of course Bay of Biscay. Note the modifier we have uh, for Bay of Biscay in 1942. We have a minus one to our roll. So now we're going to get an aircraft on any roll of. Uh, one, two, three, four, or five. So we can skip it. Ugh, we roll two. So that would have been an aircraft even in a transit box. Uh, that sucks. Okay, so we have to uh, go ahead and roll on the aircraft chart now. We can see here that on a roll of six or higher, we have a successful crash dive. But we have some uh, modifiers here now, unfortunately. And that is going to be 1942. It's a minus. Uh, one to our roll. So basically we need seven or more to uh, escape this aircraft. Let's give it a go We roll five and uh, five becomes a four with the modifier. So that means one attack uh, plus one uh, crew injury a Severe wood and then we have one hit to deal Go ahead and roll for, um, actually we uh, don't know if we have a hit, uh, we have to roll uh, to see <clears throat> if how many hits we have. And we have a plus two to this roll because it's an air attack. Oh no. Thirteen or more U-boat sunk. We have rolled eleven. 
We have a plus two because it's an air attack. 13 or more, you both sunk. But, and this is a very big but, because this is a big deal. We have Hals und Beinbrück. We can save ourselves. And uh, man, I can't believe it. We got sunk and we got to waste this one now. And that, this one was making me enjoy it so much because I felt so safe with that one. Okay, so we have to roll again then. We re-roll, we use our Hals und Beinbrück. Uh, we have a plus two to our roll. We don't want to roll 11 or higher. We roll five, <laughs> that's a lot better. Five plus two uh, for air attack makes seven. So that means we have two hits. Oh, that sucks. I can't believe I lost my Hals und Beinbrück. Okay, first hit. <clears throat> 61, that is gonna be the hydrophones. Oh, that is bad. It's very bad indeed. And then for our hopefully last hit, roll 53, which is gonna be crew injury again. Oh, poor crew. So <clears throat> it is gonna be gener generic crew and it's gonna be another severe wound. Poor guys. Okay, so now I get to fire at the aircraft and on a roll of um, five or more, uh, five or less, it will be damaged or shot down. But we have a modifier here now. We have a minus one for veteran or elite crew status. So that means we need to roll a six or lower. Let's hope we can do it. Ah, we roll eight, which turns into seven, so we miss, uh, and that is pretty bad, because that means we're gonna have to roll for additional round of combat, and if if escorts arrive, uh, arrive, they receive a plus one previously detected die roll modifier on the escort detection chart. Okay, this is bad, so we roll four, add one round of combat. And for this one, we also have a minus one modifier because we're in 42. So we need to roll seven or higher now to escape. Uh, we roll three. Three is a uh, minus one, which becomes two. That is an escort. So that means we have to roll now for escort detection. And let's look at our modifiers here. First of all, we have a plus two because we're in 942. And then we have a plus one uh, for previously detected, as stated by the aircraft chart. So that means we have a total of plus three. So we would eight or less becomes uh, five or less. I am going to go ahead and exceed test depth. So that means we have to roll six or lower now to become undetected from this, um, from this uh, escort it rolled in. And roll eight. So yeah, we're not undetected. He detects us. We're gonna go ahead and roll for his uh, quality. And we roll a four. Four in 942 means the escort is trained, so he does not have any additional um, modifiers. Okay, we have to see how many, uh, how many uh, hits he gets. Also note, we have our hydrophones out. We're gonna have a plus one to the roll now. That's pretty bad. Uh, that's the only modifier we currently have for our broken hydrophones. He rolls five, which then turns into a six with that modifier. Uh, that is going to be one hit. We can deal with that. Hopefully. We roll 51. That is going to be flooding. Let's see. And we'll go ahead and roll if flooding increases or not. It does not. It stops. And then we roll for detection again, and I am again gonna go ahead and uh, exceed the test depth. Roll to see if we increase it. Nope. We roll now to see if we get discovered. Again, let's see, our modifiers are plus three, uh, uh, minus one because of exceeding test depth. So we need six or lower. And we roll five. Oh man. Okay, we get out of it. So. The aircraft lost us, the escort lost us, but we took a hydrophone hit. So let's hope that we can repair the hydrophones. Uh, we cannot take uh, proper evasive actions, so you will apply plus one modifier for um, escort air attack uh, 
to fix them, I need a roll of 1d2, and I rolled 6, so they are um, inoperable. Also, I should have tried to um, take evasive actions, so I would have taken 1, so let's... Um, I would have taken 1 for Escort, so let's roll for his... And he rolls 5, so that would be a minus 1 to his hits. Uh, so, basically, you know, maybe one of the light wounds, whatever. But let's not care about that. That is fog of war. We have survived. We have survived the first, very first uh, box here. We're gonna go ahead and move to the transit box now. And in the transit box, we have no modifier, luckily. So uh, only on a two or three we get an aircraft. And roll seven, so nothing happens in the transit box. We have two more transit boxes here because it's a long way to North America. So we roll. First, seven, then second and last time, and roll seven again. Nothing happens. Then we uh, arrive to North America. And let's see, we have only one roll to do there. And let's look at our encounter chart. We would like a roll of four or a six or an eight. An eight is a really good roll or a nine. We roll seven. Ah, in North America, that is unfortunately nothing. So we move on. We roll 10. 10 in North America is gonna be nothing again. <clears throat> Second chance. 7 in North America is gonna be nothing. Man, I'm unlucky. We move into the next zone. This might be our first failed mission if we don't find something. Next one is also a double double check. And now we roll 11. Let's see here if I can get this one out. 11 is going to be a convoy. Uh, I'll roll for time of day first because I'm not going to engage it with my current damage here. Hydrophones out and whatnot if it's day. So we roll for time of day. And it's night time. Okay, that's cool. So let's start by rolling for... Ship sizes, we have two small freighters, and then we have a tanker. So let's go ahead and identify the tanker, and it is going to be with the D20 now, since we are in North America. The tanker is number 8, that is going to be Francis E. Powell, so we'll note that here. Okay, so we have our convoy here in front of us, three small freighters and a tanker with 7,100 tonnage. We have night time and we are going to attack at submerge position and we will attack at long range now. Since we have an escort, it's getting late. Uh, I don't want to risk it. We have a lot of uh, torpedoes, so chances are we'll hit with at least one of them. So we engage target number three, which is the tanker. We send four torpedoes, and let's take a look at our chart now, because we have a really cool modifier, and that is the Commandant holds Knight Cross with Oak Leaves, a minus one. So our long range now, six or less to hit, becomes seven or less to hit with our beautiful modifier. Uh, okay, let's see if we can do it. Uh, seven or less. First attempt is a miss. Second attempt is a hit. Third attempt is another miss. Please let me hit with the last one. Six. Awesome. Okay, so we have two hits. Let's roll for duds. Oof, close call, but there is no duds. So now let's go ahead and roll for damage. Ah, never very lucky when uh, rolling for damage. That is just two damage. And I need three damage to take this one out, so that's a bit unfortunate. We go to escort detection, and I am going to roll first to see quality of escort. Ooh, that's a veteran. That is very bad. That is very bad indeed. A veteran uh, is gonna have plus one on both hit and detection. Uh, okay, we will take whole damage and roll for that. One, one is bad, but we got the four on another one. So let's go ahead and, and check our uh, modifiers here. 
we have minus one for taking hold detection, minus one for uh, having a knight's cross with oak leaves and the sword. So we have a total of minus two. But then we have a plus one because it's 42, and a plus one because uh, the escort is an elite. So the total here is going to be a plus one to our roll, and we need eight or less to become undetected. And we roll seven, which becomes an eight, so that makes us undetected. Oof, okay, close call, close call. Okay, let's see here if this we follow the ship automatically because it's um, it is uh, damaged. But we should roll to see if it remains escorted or not. On roll of one to four, it's still escorted. On roll of five or six, it's unescorted. Ah, we roll a two, so that's uh, sad. It becomes uh, unescorted. But I will reset the um, I will reset the escort uh, here uh, since we approach the convoy from a new direction and all of that. Uh, okay, or well, actually we don't, because that would only be if you follow the convoy, so we'll, we'll have the same one. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Go here with four torpedoes, we need... Um, see, we need seven or less to hit. First one is a miss. Second one is a miss, come on, I need one hit at least. Okay, we have one hit. And last one is a miss. Hopefully it's not a dud. Ooh, roll six, so it's not a dud. Let's roll for damage, even though it's automatically sunk. It's a six, one damage. That is enough to sink that ship. So we have managed to sink the tanker, but we still need to get out of uh, this escort's detection. So uh, one more modifier we actually have here. We have minus one for firing at long range. Uh, minus one for commandant is knight's cross with oak leaves and swords, plus uh, two, 42, and plus one because it's a uh, uh, escort with plus one uh, detection, elite. So we have a total of plus one. A roll, eight or less to become undetected. Oh, we're all free. Awesome. So we are undetected. We make it. Okay, so I, I, um, I might have forgotten some of the modifiers. There's so many of these uh, during the escort detection. And of course you have minus one if you uh, see test depth, minus one for long range, and then again minus one for our uh, final promotion there. But you know, it's fog of war. I'm getting a little bit excited here at the end of the war. We have managed to sink a ship, so that's good. We move on now to the last uh, box of the... Of the campaign and we're all a two and a two is gonna be I'm gonna have to check the North America no oh, that's an aircraft I can't believe it okay that is bad news for us so we will try to crash dive and we will crash dive on a roll of six or higher but become seven or higher because of the 9942 modifier and we're all 10 so we get away from the aircraft oh awesome Transit box, we need to roll two times. Oh, we have a random event that does not happen very often. Can I please have a roll of seven now? Please give me a seven. Ah, we have a four gyro compass failure. The gyro compass fails. Repair on a roll of one to two. Uh, okay. Six, it's not repaired. If the repair fails, you both must immediately abort this patrol. That's all right with me. We're not gonna do anything more. Uh, transit box again, and we roll seven. Seven for the transit box is nothing. And one last transit box now. Twelve. Uh, and transit box, we, we find a ship, and we are aboarding the aboarding the the what do you call it the the patrol. But I still think we can fire at it, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll roll uh, for ship size. And it is a small freighter. <clears throat> Remember, we are in North America, so we have to roll on the North America uh, target roster with a D20. 15 for a small ship that is going to be Leto for 4,700 tonnage. So we have this small freighter here all on its own. Uh, it's night time, we're uh, gonna fire from a surfaced position. We're firing at close range. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fire um, 
two deck gun shots. So to hit now, we need a nine or lower. First is a hit, we roll seven. And second is eight, so we uh, hit on both of them. So it's a, it's a guaranteed kill, but we roll for damage anyway. Uh, three and six, so that is two damage. Boop, boop. Sorry, uh, small freighter, you are done. Okay, so that is gonna be another kill uh, in the transit box also. We move now to the Bay of Biscay, and I hate this box more than anything. We roll, we roll six or higher, we avoid aircrafts, and we roll 11, so we manage to survive. We return to port here, oh, and we mark off another successive mission. Uh, hydrophones on ir inoperable, P for patrol, uh, refit is going to be... A total of two months because we have the hull damage here. So next time we're be back will not be before the uh, July uh, 42. We're gonna also be promoted today uh, because it's two years now since we started the campaign and I can tell you right away it's gonna be an automatic promotion as you can see here on the chart um, you have a minus uh, one to your roll for each uh, night cross you received, and we have received two <laughs> during the last year pre period, and on a roll of one to four, uh, you're promoted. So we go from Corvetten uh, Capitan to Fregatten Capitan, rank four. Now we only have one rank remaining, and we're gonna be highest rank. Let's go ahead and check out how uh, we did. We still need 50,000 to get our last night cross. And I can tell you right now, we're gonna have the highest victory level. We're gonna have 200,900 uh, enemy shipping sunk. And if we look at the, I'll try to get it here on the screen for you. Uh, determining victory, this is the highest of all the victory levels. Decisive victory, you're the scourge of the seas and the pride of the entire Kriegsmarine. Your legendary exploits place you at the top of the U-boat elite and are um, mentioned prominently in propaganda efforts. Your peers are amazed at your bold successes. You hopefully retire peacefully in what's left of Hamburg after the war. Okay, that's pretty epic. So we got the highest victory level now. We still don't have the highest award, and to get the highest award, we still need 38,000... Uh, 38,200 ton. So I'll just mark that here with the hopes of actually getting that. We don't know um, yet if that's gonna happen, but we are gonna try our best. Other than that, that is it. We don't get to roll for crew promotion yet. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we have still two missions to go, but we have our promotion. Uh, so we're probably gonna end um, with the highest rank if we survive. We still have, see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have a total of one year remaining and it's gonna be tough because we lost our beautiful Hals und Beinbruch token here. That really bugs me. Yeah, those airplane attacks, uh, I find them interesting, but they are a little bit too strong because I find myself that I usually don't die from escorts. I usually die from aircraft and there's just no defense against them. There's no tactic that you as a player can use. So um, not a fan of those aircrafts, but we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you will stop by for the next episode. If you're not subscribed already, helps me out a lot if you would subscribe. Also, commenting and liking the video helps me out a lot. You can also become a supporting channel member for only $2.99 US dollars a month. You help me to, you know, buy better camera equipment, newer games and so on. You can also do a one-time donation to PayPal or YouTube Super Thanks. You find the PayPal address in the video description. Okay, guys, I will see you for the next episode.